I'm all for wearing of the green and everything, but today I want to do something a little bit different. Okay, let me just show you this if I must, if I may, if I can. This is a wire Celtic ring. Now, some of you may sell, say Celtic. We've had a debate here today, Celtic, Celtic. We're going to go with Celtic, just so you know. Okay, this is how I'm going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I, I do love green, but hey, let's just do something different. So I'm going to show you this really cool way of creating wire jewelry. Um, first of all, let me just show you this little tool right here. This is called the Wire Wizard, and it will help you create all kinds of really cool designs using wire. Now look at this. Wire comes in a lot of different colors, and I'll tell you what, it's a really hot trend right now. Wire-wrapped jewelry, jewelry made from wire in different shapes, and it comes in different gauges as well. The higher the number, the thicker the wire. Okay, just that's pretty easy to remember. And let me show you some of the designs that you can create using the wire wizard. Uh, these are all so beautiful. Look at this little bracelet right here. You can twist the wire and make little knots. You can make matching rings as well. Um, this ring that I made for you here is also, you can also make a little bracelet out of it and a pair of matching earrings. And just the way you, you hook and twist and turn the wire inside the wire wizard can help you create all of these cool designs. So before we make the ring, I wanna just kind of show you how this works. I'm gonna use some of this wire right here. And I put in, these are this little metal pegs. And they have two different sizes depending on what size you want your wire. So I'm just gonna start mine here and just anchor it down. And it is this simple. I placed a small one at the top and at the bottom is the anchor. And then the larger pegs spaced apart. So Basically, all you do is twist and turn your wire, just like this. And you can, there's a pattern book that you can get and that you can follow. And I just push it down as I go, twisting and turning to get all kinds of different looks. And don't worry about whether or not it's even or not. Sometimes you might want to take your needle nose pliers or your round nose pliers and push them down. Go back this way. Go back this way, make another loop. This wire is so amazing. It bends beautifully. Make another little loop here. And I'm going to go around. And I'm going to finish it off right like this. And I'm just going to smash it all down so it's nice and flat. And you do want to be careful because the wire, some of, sometimes if you're not careful, the, the color of the wire will come off. And then you just, I just pulled the pegs out and lift it all up at the same time and it all pops out. Just like so. Remove the anchor. And if you bend it a little bit, don't worry about it because you can bend it back. And I'm just going to trim this up. like that. Whip that around with my pliers just to kind of finish off the edge. You have this just awesome shape that you can put, you can add beads as you go, you can create a necklace and you can keep adding to it. It's, this is the one that I made earlier. I twisted and turned and made all these little loops. So it's really fun, and it's, it's called the Wire Wizard. Okay, so you don't have to have a wire wizard in order to create this fun Celtic ring. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take some wire, and I'm going to cut nine inches of wire, okay? Then about, well, let me show you this other tool that I, I'm using. I'm using these uh, round nose pliers, okay? And these are important and these are a must have. The other thing that I highly recommend are these um, nylon clip wires. And this, this, this is, what this does is it conditions your wire. So you can make it nice and straight and ready to work. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go about three inches in, right about there. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go way down in there, I'm gonna stay right up where that big fat part of the needle nose pliers are, okay? And I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna wrap it tight around that way. I'm gonna pull these out 
put it in on the other side. Keep going that way, okay? So you're gonna end up like that. That's step one. All right, step two is now I'm gonna take my needle nose out again and wrap it around the other way. Keep going all the way. I'm gonna pull them out, put them back in there, keep going. Okay, so now I have this nice little loop just like that. Okay, I'm gonna give that a nice tug this way. Now, I'm gonna hold my wire here and wrap it back around this way. Go all the way across and over. And you can follow along with me if you like. Pull those out. See, now I have, now I have a three-leaf clover. If I wanna leave it that way, I certainly can. Now I'm gonna put my needle nose pliers back in over here. And this is kind of like a two-parter. You gotta wrap this around this way, go back out that way. Okay, pull that out. And you end up with this awesome Celtic knot. Now, in order to make it fit your finger, here's what I've done. I've taken something, um, you know, fairly thick like this, and I've just laid it on and just hold it and just wrap the wire around. Now, obviously, my finger is, is bigger than this, but wrap it around this way. Just pull it off. And, you know, this wire is extremely forgiving. Wrap it around this way. And then I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a little loop across the top. But I want to flatten it up so my finger can fit in there just like that. And the same with this end. Wrap it around. Flatten it up so that my finger can fit in. Now, here's what you can do. Once you put this on your finger, you're going to need to kind of maneuver it around. Okay? But basically, you can kind of see. I have to play with it a little bit and put it on my finger. But you're going to end up with a ring that wraps around and loops on the end. So that's why you want to turn those little hooks around and make them nice and smooth. Okay? So there you go. That's my interpretation of a Celtic knot for St. Patrick's Day. So now I have to make another one that actually fits and that's green so I don't get pinched. Okay, I have the written instructions and how to get and where to find craft wire or artistic wire and the wire wizard in the instructions. Okay, happy St. Patrick's Day.